And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord, and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. Job 1.7 The world consists of vast cultures with stories that constantly connect their gods with the inner earth. And not just their gods, but reptilian races of hybrid entities. We're talking superhumans, strange animal creatures, or what the Book of Giants refers to as monsters. When you're dealing with the areas around the world where so much myth, legend, oral tradition, and belief, contemporary belief, there's always uh, a, almost an embracing of the underworld. The earth is actually dynamic. Um, by that, what I mean is that, you know, we all go to work every day, we get in our car, we are driving over a shell under which, according to the Bible, there is supernaturalism, there are entities, there are creatures, there are beings. If you were gonna hide something and keep something secret, there's two places to do it. One is in the deep, deep oceans. The second place is a labyrinth, a network of tunnels and areas which go deep underneath the earth. There was truth to this idea that this race called the Vril Yah had been existing under the earth since the days of the Great Flood in the antediluvian world. In fact, the belief of the Vril Yah and of the power of Vril was actually so prominent among German occultists that it gave birth to a secret society, one of the most notorious secret society involving the Nazi regime called the Vril Society. The Nazi expedition to Shambhala originally started in, uh, in Greenland with the Edda. The Edda were ancient Nordic writings describing a hollow earth. They went there to see if they could find further details or information. They really, this was the top of their agenda. They had to find this opening. And the next thing you know, they had the New Schwabenland expedition to the Queen Maudland area of uh, the Antarctic. It's what drove them. It was a religious belief that drove them to, to uh, cordon this area off and claim it for their own. When I read Admiral Byrd's um description of, of things that he saw and, and, and how it felt going into this into this abyss type of type of opening. But it also was a long time ago and we've learned a lot about quantum physics since then. We've learned a lot about how these types of things would work. And there there are too many descriptions in there uh, of things that he saw that line up with current um, quantum physics uh, understanding. The underworld of our people, very similar to uh, the Cherokee stories, the Creek stories, the Maya Incan stories of underwater panther and, and these underworlds where there's completely different civilizations that lived under there. We know in the Bible that the Watchers, the angels who kept not their first estate, according to Peter, are kept in chains in Tartarus until the judgment, kept in darkness until the judgment. Tartarus, in Greek mythology, is as far below Hades it's not Hades, it's as far below Hades as the earth is below heaven. That's where the Watchers, according to Peter, have been confined. And what we're finding out is that the fallen angels and demonic entities have been molding the views. They've been molding the cultures and hyper intentionally, they've been molding the religions of the world. They've been literally priming the world for the greatest deception of all time. And we are fast approaching that time right now, according to the Bible.